the other nights like this And I'll be standing here with someone new There will be other songs to sing Another fall, another spring But there will never be another you There will be other lips that I might kiss been the house cats for five years now. We've been together for 10 years, married for two years, and we've been gigging as like our job for about five years. So we both did very different things five years ago. And um, we've just always, we've always liked playing music together. We both, you know, grew up playing music. So we were like, why don't we play music together? The cool thing is we put ourselves in a position where it like had to be our job. So it was cool because it forced us to get better um, and forced us to like put ourselves in front of audiences and like in situations where either the people don't really want to hear us or, oh, yeah. you know, we don't fit. Fine romance with no kisses. A fine romance, my friend. This is we could be like a couple of hot. It sounds cliche, but like every I think everybody says that you want people listening to music to feel something and that sounds super cliche but it's so true like you want to convey some kind of emotions because if, if you're not conveying anything then there's really no point because there's so much music out there like we don't really need more music unless it's really going to do something oh, yeah. so we try most of our stuff we try to have people or we try to like convey like having fun like we try to kind of goof around and yeah improvising is super fun so yeah Feels so weird. <laughs> I'll never have the microphone, you know, uh, to just have fun and not take yourself too seriously. Basically, just to just have a good time. Yeah. Really, you know. Yeah. It's about it. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Country dance was being held in a garden. I felt a bump and her. How do we pick new songs? New songs? Just things we're inspired by. Um, weirdly enough, we like yeah. we like a lot of like musical theater stuff. So like sometimes that's fun to do. But when we're just like listening to Apple Music or whatever, and a song comes on that we really like, you know, that's usually what we choose to do. Fortunately, we have gigs where we can basically play whatever we want, which is awesome. Uh, so, you know. I mean, we do some like popular jazz tunes in there too, but um, you know, people hear jazz and they kind of some, they think it all sounds the same. So yeah. we can, uh, we get to do like songs that we just like, you know, yeah. songs that uh, we like the lyrics or whatever, or the arrangements or the, you know, chords, whatever. Yeah. Grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worries on your doorstep. We'll just direct your feet. To the sunny side of the street. There's like a quote, I don't know who says the quote, so don't quote me. But um, comparison is the thief of joy. And it's so true. And that's one cool thing about jazz is like you can have, specifically as a vocalist, you can have any kind of voice. Like you don't have to sound like someone else. You can have literally any kind of voice. Like Betty Carter, I mean, Ella, Sarah Vaughn, they all sound totally different. Yeah, don't compare yourself to others. Just. And as far as like skills go, everything just, you know, you obviously want to get better and strive to be better and practice and all that, but like don't get hung up on what anybody else is doing. Um, Not be too hard on yourself. Have patience. Because when we first started doing this, I, it was like my favorite thing to do. I practiced all this when I was a kid and then it became my job. And then I got like, if I couldn't get a lick down in like a day, I was like, so like, ah. so like to... Take your time. Feet on the sunny side, on the sunny side of the street. On the sunny side of the street.